We have Major Mohammad Ali Shah who's joining us live on the program. Uh, thank you, Major, as always, for joining us on NewsX. Help us understand, give us a perspective um, into what we are seeing really playing out between Russia and United States and what it really means for India, sir. See, uh, they say history repeats itself. And as you rightly brought out, Minakshi, in 2014 in Crimea, Russia had done the exactly, they had done the same thing. They had got their troops on the border and they had tried to invade uh, Crimea. That's exactly now as you rightly brought out again, that, you know, one lakh troops are on the eastern front of the western border of Ukraine. So they are, it can so happen. I'm not saying it will happen. It is likely to happen that they will try to get into Ukraine and invade Ukraine as well. And, but Russia has given out a very strict advisory, rather, I would call it an advisory, not a warning exactly, because if Vladimir Putin, if they try to get into Ukraine, they would have to pay serious consequences of that. And of course, and uh, Russia has been doing that. Like, for example, in, uh, in, in Europe, again, in, in uh, Europe, uh, US had put sanctions on Turkey for procuring S-400 from Russia, from Russia. But they did not put those sanctions on us because it was a, there's, a, there's a difference there. They got that, that the equation with Turkey is different. Turkey was a, a NATO partner. North yeah. Atlantic Treaty Organization, which violated the procurement policy and the rules. So mm. China took that very, very seriously. On the other hand, India is a perceived threat from China, which mm. has already deployed two S-400 on the border, on yeah. the line of actual control. So now when Russian troops come and they deploy about a lakh of the troops, why, what else could be the reason? Why would, for example, if you use common sense, why, if, if even in, if India, we mobilize our troops and we put uh, one lakh troops on one side of one country, hmm. what could be the motive? They, see, no mobilization, no military mobilization takes place without proper planning, without execution, without an intention. So, yes, the intention could be that perhaps, but then, yes, due, due to the timely advisory or the warning or whatever you may say yeah. uh, issued by the U.S., Russia would reconsider that and they would now actually wonder what is to take place next. So their actions now are to be observed in the near future, Minakshi. Well, absolutely. Major Shah, help us understand. You know, you were speaking about how India really gets sandwiched between the West and Russia. What do you think is the diplomatic fine line? What should we do? How do we tread this diplomatic fine line between uh, Russia, vis a vis, of course, the Ukrainian crisis, and of course, also balancing our relations with the West? See, Russia is our biggest defense partner in terms of defense procurement and defense deals. We buy a lot of weaponry, a lot of equipment from Russia. And U.S., of course, we cannot ups uh, afford to upset U.S. at the same time. So the fine line would be that we have to just wait and watch about what happens between Russia and uh, U.S. Because we cannot really uh, intrude in both the relations and spoil both the relations. I can see Ambassador Deepak Vora has just joined us yes. and I'm sure he would be able to throw some very, very, uh, his insights are always very precise to the point. And I'm sure he would be able to throw some very, very good lights or, yes. or light over there because he knows that area because back of the hand. diplomat and we were just discussing diplomacy, right, Major Shah? Exactly. Stay with us, stay with us, sir. Ambassador Vora, as always, thank you for joining us on News Expo this fine morning. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure and a privilege to learn from you, ma'am, and also from that outstanding soldier. Major Mohammed Ali Shah. I learned from him all the time. Um, thank you, sir, for joining us on this uh, big story.